Nuendo 7 opens up more creative options and further streamlines your workflow with the ability to render in place. The render in place function allows you to print your mixer settings to your audio files when mixing in another DAW. It allows you to quickly render assets for game audio in less time, and it allows you to bounce MIDI and audio parts quickly and easily. And it gives you total control over what to include in the rendered file. Let's say the final mix for your project will be done at another facility using a different DAW and a hardware mixing console. You need to export the audio tracks from your system, but ensure that the sound will be carried over into the new system. First, configure the Render Tracks dialog to include channel settings. This can include things like send effects, inserts, and EQ. The Render Setup dialog also lets you choose how much of the original signal path to include in the rendered file. If you select Dry, the audio will be rendered as is, and the channel settings like EQ and so forth will be transferred to the new track. If you choose Channel Settings, the new file will be run through the source channel's EQ and channel strip during the rendering to lock in that sound. Then you also have the option to include the complete signal path, including effects. And the final option includes the master effects as well. You can opt to have multiple tracks mixed down to a single track, and of course you can adjust the name of the rendered file. And if you're including channel effects or master effects like reverb, you can set the tail size in terms of seconds or beats. You can even instruct Nuendo what to do with the source track after rendering. In this particular case, we'll also want to separate the events so that the edits will remain. And we'll use 24 bits as the format. You will likely want to remove source tracks or whatever makes sense in your specific scenario. Now, start the render tracks process. And it's worth noting that this can take a long time, hours in some cases, depending on the speed of your system and the complexity of your project. But when the process is finished, you'll have a project with a completely clean mixer, but the sound of your mix imprinted in the files. Now you can simply export and send them on their way to the other facility, confident that your hard work will go with them. But Nuendo 7 offers even more flexibility when handling large amounts of audio files. With the powerful Render Tracks scheme, you can easily render files to any disk location or even directly into a game audio engine, one of the most powerful uses. Let's say you've created a cluster of sound effects that need to be rendered to disk as separate sound files. Simply select them in the project window, then use Render Tracks. This will write them to disk, but it will not create new tracks in your Nuendo project. You can apply several options to this process. You can determine if the files should be rendered separately, as a block of events, or if one resulting file should be created. You can also define the tail size, bit resolution, and naming scheme. The naming scheme is a powerful feature that allows you to determine the name of the audio files via automation. The custom naming scheme further allows for the definition of individual attributes. Simply drag and drop them into the attributes area and arrange them according to your needs. The preview below shows the expected result. This workflow is especially valuable in game audio. The target of the export rendering process can even be a game audio middleware such as Audio Kinetics Wise. This can be done using the Game Audio Connect features which are covered in detail in another video. When you trigger the Render in Place command, a new audio track is created with all of the selected settings copied over from the original source track plus the rendered audio event. Nuendo now offers tempo detection for MIDI. This means that when inspiration strikes, your musicians can capture the performance and then sync it up to the click afterward. Tempo detection is the mirror image of quantizing. Whereas quantizing moves your performance to the grid, tempo detection moves the grid to you. This allows you to lay down a MIDI track without first having to set up and then rigidly follow a metronome. It also means that Nuendo will detect and follow the subtle changes in tempo that bring life to a piece of music. Let's start by creating a simple instrument track. Now with the click track off, the performer can simply start playing. They focus on the music and don't strain to stay with the click. Also, the absence of a click track can lessen the stage fright that we've all seen in the studio when the performer becomes too aware of the recording process and the performance suffers. Now, just to demonstrate how this works, let's turn the click back on. And you can hear that the two don't line up at all.
We need the performance and the grid to line up if we're going to use things like Groove Agent SE or an Arranger track. To do this, select the MIDI performance, open the project menu, and then click on Tempo Detection. Then click Analyze. Nuendo creates a tempo track that aligns with the performance. Now listen. You can hear that the click and the performance now line up. You can use features like multiply and divide to bring the click closer to the feel that you want. If you haven't used a tempo track before, the gray line represents the tempo and each white node represents a beat. You also have tools to correct for off beats and to smooth tempo changes. To get the best results from tempo detection, you need at least seven seconds of material and 20 seconds or more will yield even better results. Also, since tempo detection picks up on the rhythmic pulse of your playing, long pauses or a lot of held notes can throw it off. Now let's take this one step further and see how easy it is to add drums. I can drag and drop one of the grooves onto the instrument track and it will line up with the start of the MIDI performance. And listen. To build this out, we can drag in more grooves or just duplicate the one that we have. And that fast, we have a spontaneous performance which is now in sync with the grid and a drum part to match. The renowned ASIO Guard feature has stepped up its game in the form of ASIO Guard 2. And of course, ASIO stands for Audio Stream Input Output, and the quality of that audio stream is everything. ASIO Guard was developed to do exactly what its name implies. It guards the audio stream to prevent dropouts and other artifacts that can result from an overtaxed CPU. This not only ensures pristine sound, but it also improves processor performance. ASIO Guard 2 does this by intelligently pre-processing VST plugins to free up more processor power for real-time audio recording and playback. The original ASIO Guard protocol only reached some of the VST plugins. ASIO Guard 2 supports entire instrument tracks, including multi-timbral and sample instruments that feature disk streaming, as well as all live input independent channels. ASIO Guard 2 features extended internal buffering to further improve audio processing performance. This means that ASIO Guard 2 can allocate latency intelligently on the tracks where it matters most, so all you have to focus on is the creative process.